Yellow Jackets episode five of season two. We're like over halfway. I don't know. IMDb says nine episodes. Last season was 10 episodes. So I don't know if the IMDb thing is correct because it wasn't correct with Chucky season two. Mm. It told us there was going to be 10 episodes and there was only eight. So I don't know what... I'm going to go with that there's going to be 10. Because last season was 10, but that's not always 100%, right? Uh, Stranger Things, it goes 8. Sometimes it goes 9. You never know. So is this confirmed as 9 or will there be a 10th? We're around the halfway point, whether it's 9 or 10. So we'll find out if there's going to be 9 or 10. But as of right now, the only information I've seen is that there's going to be 9. We shall see. So if anybody knows for sure and wants to Google it for us and let us know in the comments... Uh, You can go search down there for the answer or suss it out for yourself. So, okay. We start the episode where we left off with Van's video store. uh, And she is rewinding tapes. Be kind. Rewind. Remember? Oh, God. Sorry. So okay. just yawning. She's too <laughs> she's bored I'm already. Not, I'm That's not. all right. I do remember Be Kind Rewind. Yeah. That's the best slogan. So she is rewinding a tape of Welcome to the Dollhouse. Um, now anybody who's ever seen that movie knows how messed up the movie is. But also the character uh, that is in that is actually pretty reminiscent of Misty. Oh. She is this kind of nerdy girl who wears glasses and she yearns for the um, acceptance of the cool kids. And hmm. she'll go to any lengths to try to find friends that want to acknowledge her as one of them. Um so sounds a lot like her. It's been, you know, and also the movie that um, Van recommends to the the regular that walks in to the video store. Yeah, that's about a gay girl who works at a video store. Oh. So I don't know if that's like her hitting on her because that girl definitely seemed gay. Yeah, and well, she Van was like, is gay. It's like something about like required queer viewing sure. or something like that but it's like, basically it's van it's, uh, it's some girl who works at a it's a lesbian girl who works at a video store moving on from all of that i just uh, thought those were cute little easter eggs and you do when she's like on the steps of her uh video store because she lives in the video store which is awesome yeah um the top tape on the stairs or i think it's on the stairs somewhere uh, was the movie alive which, of course, we had to give a nod to here because it's about a soccer team that crashes into the mountains and have to eat each other to stay alive. I mean, yeah. if we didn't mention that movie at some point in one reference or another, especially with being in a video store. But you have to really look for it. It's not like a featured cover or anything. It's um, just kind of there. Yeah. Mm. So I saw it there and was like, okay. It, it's finally addressed that how similar this is. It's basically this show is alive meets lost. I mean, yeah. this is like, no, yeah. that's what this show is. Pretty much. Um, but anyways, um, so yeah, Thaisa and Van hang out and we'll, we'll get back to that. So, because most of what happens happens towards the end and I want to get ahead of mm. ourselves. Um, okay, so the Callie and Jay thing at the bowling alley. How oh, messed up is this? It's so messed up. He's such a dick. <laughs> we were like both so annoyed with him that whole time because he's just like taking advantage of this girl's emotions and leading her on to his own means, like to get his own, to, as a means to an end, yeah. is what I was trying to say. I'm sorry. And it's... Shitty. It's really shitty. But she finds out, like, really quickly during that scene yeah. that he's not who he says he is. And specifically that he's a cop. So, yeah, that's what you get for living in the modern age and having Google. She's detecting that he's a detective. Yeah. And he is totally screwed up. Like, he's hanging out with some high school girl yeah. to gather information on a case and making her think that they're going to be a romantic thing. And he has these like 
you know, reservations about kissing her because he's like, oh, that would, that would be messed up. Like what you're doing isn't. Yeah. Like you think you're some good guy because you're restricting yourself from like being romantic with her, but you're being romantic with her, just not physically romantic. Like, right. dude, you're a horrible person. Not and cool. I do not think anything good of you. No. Um, so, yeah, she figures out he's a cop by Googling his name. I, it's funny how many things I called yeah. in this episode while they're happening. And I was, like, doing that thing where I'm like, like, oh, I want to be able to, you know, pat myself on the back. Like, as I say it, and then it becomes true on the on the video. But I can't because they all happen in the episode. I was like, oh, he's going to use lotion as cum. Oh, she's going to find it on the receipt. She's going to look in and then she's going to find out he's a cop. He's going to, like, I kept saying these things in the episode and then they happen. And I was like, damn. Got him. Why can't I say them in the video so that I can look all cool? <laughs> Anyways. Um, we get confirmation that Misty's friend here is real. There yes. was some uh, speculation that she was in her head. She's very much real. But no, she is like, real. Very much real. And she's dead. Very, very dead. <laughs> um, um, so and the black box thing. As soon as they were like telling secrets. Oh my they God. They were saying secrets you to each other. Like, I instantly yeah. was like, oh shit. She's going to tell her that she fucking broke the black box and then she's going to kill her. It's awful because you're just like, Misty, no, that's not the thing you tell. That is not what you tell. No, that's not all. the thing you do. It's not the thing you do, but especially <laughs> but you, you don't, don't tell. tell. And yeah, I mean, she's... Misty is not, you know, she's pretty unhinged, honestly. I mean, she instantly tries to lie her way out of it, and it doesn't work. <laughs> she doesn't believe her. And then she's like, I'll fucking kill you. Oh, yeah. And She becomes really aggressive. And this is not a side of Misty we've seen that much before. No. Right? Like, Misty, even when she's being evil, she still tries to play like she's not. Right, she kills the cop by freaking injecting something into her cigarettes, and it's like, oh, it's okay, you can go, and all this. Mm-hmm. We don't really see the evil side of Misty where she's threatening people's lives and this and that, but she really means this because she's going to challenge something that Misty holds very dear, and that is the role that she has in the group currently. Yeah. And if she's seen as the villain, that's the thing that she is the most afraid of. Yes. And so she resorts to anger and threats. Now, whether or not she intended to hurt her in any way, I don't know mm. at this point. Um, maybe. But did she mean for her to fall? No, I don't think so. I think that was a happy coincidence for Misty. Yeah. I mean, I know she's upset about it, but this is better for her technically because yeah. she's not going to tell. Right. And she just said she was going to kill her. Um, whether or not she would, I don't know. Um, she does kill later. Uh, so it's not outside the poss- well, the realm yeah, of possibility. It's, not. it's definitely not. Um, but yeah, Misty is <laughs> a troubled girl. And it, Walter, that's his name, right? Yeah. Yeah. He wants to see right past that, but she gives him the finger because he is like, I figured it out. Yeah, he like knows who she is. Yeah. Or like what type of person she is. Well, the Adam stuff. Yeah. Yeah, he like deduced. Well, yeah. And because of that, I mean, he is like suspecting that she, you know, killed Adam. Yeah. And kind of is accepting of her, even if she was a killer, like his grandma was sentenced for killing his grandfather but he was like oh she still wrote me birthday letters like every year yeah he like still i don't know he he, like doesn't think that's like a red flag (laughs) yeah i mean he's just an eccentric weird guy yeah who's into misty and she does have kind of the perfect person for her because he's okay with her flaws yes and we see the contrast here right like he says, like, oh, my grandpa, my grandma killed her, uh, my grandpa, and but she just sent me a birthday card every year. Like, I saw who she really was. Mm-hmm. And her friend in this doesn't get to look past her flaws, and he's willing to. Yeah. And, you know, she pushes one away, and one uh, gets pushed away. Yeah. By the slip of her foot. <laughs> um, 
and he drives off. And uh, will we see him again? A hundred percent. Oh, absolutely. Um, but it it is interesting to see the um, you know contrast here between this girl and him, mm. right? Because he's accepting her and she's not, um, mm-hmm. and she pushes both of them away. One to death and the other one to leave for a moment. Now, they do play the game Two Truths and a Lie. Mm -hmm. And that's the name of the episode. But is there a double meaning to that in this episode? Um, What are the truths and what are the lies here? I don't know. (laughs) Mm. Uh, I'd have to think about that more. We just watched the episode. Um, I know that when we do these videos, maybe we should think about things more before we press record but that's the fun of it you know trying to trying to figure it out as we talk mm-hmm. um okay so cassie uh or callie i'm sorry i don't know why i wrote cassie yeah. um but callie the daughter of shauna she uh throws jay off the scent but mm. that doesn't work out because randy's an idiot randy's so dumb but so dumb. I really like how Callie has completely turned around and is like super excited to be like in on the family drama. She is. And she like was very like excited to think that she did a good job. Yeah. Like asking her mom, you know, like, did I like did I fix it? And yeah. she's like, Yeah, you did good. <laughs> and she's like super excited about that. So um but it's okay. <laughs> She's definitely made like a, a huge 180 from what, what she used to be in previous episodes, which I'm good with. Yeah. Yeah. Um, My blood sugar's dropping. Oh. I'm not. I'm like starting to sweat. Oh, yeah. And I was like, I have to eat something. Yeah, we haven't had dinner yet, so. Mm-mm. We went and saw a movie and we watched Yellow Jackets and now we've been reviewing, so. And it's. Like yeah. nine thirty six at night, so mm-hmm. we gotta eat dinner. Well, it's alright. I pushed myself too hard. Yeah. All right. Pardon the interruption. I needed to eat. So, getting back to it. Okay. Um. So. Yeah. Uh. Her friend is dead, and uh, she's pushed away everybody. So, here we go. But at the end of this, she does uh, join the cult just to get in on the premises because she finds Natalie and. Natalie wants nothing to do with her, as usual. Mm-hmm. Um, and, you know, she she's like, I tracked you down. And I fucking came here because yeah. you got kidnapped. Yeah. And she's like, what are you doing here? And and I get it. Like, freaking Misty's crazy. Yes. <laughs> but Nat is not that much less crazy. No, she's not. She's just as high strung and, like, unpredictable sometimes. In fact, I don't know if there's a sane one in the bunch. I'd I don't say think so. as of right now, the only one that remains somewhat sane ish feels like Van, but we've only been around her for yeah. like five minutes as an adult. Right. We don't know what her her real personality is like. Yeah. Shout out to um, the actress who's who's playing older Van here, who I know from tons of shit. Mm. Um, from Servant, which we need to watch. Yeah. We need to see. It. We need to watch. Um, Season four, which we have not. We've seen season one through three. We covered actually a bunch of it on here. Yeah. Um, but didn't stick with it. We try not to do that. Uh, we it really, really, sometimes. yeah. We really don't mean to. Um, but anyway, uh, she's she's um, imitating Van, young Van, really well. Yes, she is. <laughs> so, and that's of no surprise to me because she's a phenomenal actress. Mm. Um, but I was just noticing in like mannerisms mm-hmm. and the way she says things like dude and whatever. Very, very similar. Very, yeah. very similar. So, so good on her because I feel like a lot of the times actors act up. Oh, sure. Like, like the actors are always. No, I mean that when there's, when there's characters that are young and older, mm. right? That the actor who's younger always tries to act like the older actor. Oh, I see what you're saying. Right? Yeah. I feel like the that's always the way the mm-hmm. actor goes. And, and it's this, and it's it, with like... this it feels like because she established the whole first season, this makes sense that she would follow her lead mm-hmm. because she is the lead at this point and and yeah. she didn't enter the show until 
last episode for like two seconds and then this right. episode. So it would make perfect sense to me in, in this regard. But I've seen, usually in shows, I feel like the younger actor is always trying to act like the older actor. Mm, mm-hmm. right? Yeah. So anyways. Um, okay. So um, we've got Ty sticking up for Lottie in the flashback here. Yeah. This is weird and Very new. Weird. Um, so she's gone to the prayer group or whatever they're calling it here. And Ty is like super, uh, she's doing it obviously for Van. Yes. But. She's also I feel like she's, yeah, she's, 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 she she's buying into it. I don't know that she's buying into it, but she admits that she's getting something from it. Like she's, she's buying into it enough sleep. to be freaking defending I Lottie. think I do think that that is her like diplomat side coming out a little bit though. I think that she is trying to play peacekeeper in some ways. Yeah. Because she she definitely comes across as the person who's like I know what's best for us, like when we're supposed to get along and when we're not supposed to get along. So, mm-hmm. but yeah, I mean she is buying into it a little bit at least because it's working for her. Yeah. Mhm. And uh, definitely by the end of this episode, at least as far as the flashback goes um i think that she's going to be much more of a believer because um they do some kind of like magic to bring her uh, bring them back you know yeah um when natalie is going through lottie's shit in yeah. the safe or whatever uh, one of the pa- one of the papers that she looks at for like half a second and then moves on is a request for child support payments. Yes. And that further, like, I don't. It definitely doesn't solidify, but that further um, extends my belief that Shauna's kid is alive. Hmm. And that that had something to do with yeah. her kid. Why Lottie would have that? Maybe she's taking care of her because she's that girl. Uh, maybe the trans girl we were talking about mm. last time. Uh, I don't know, but uh, we do know that by next episode, we should know uh, if Shauna's baby survives the birth. Yes, at least we will know that. Right. Um. I, Very curious. If she, if the kid dies in birth, which realistically probably is what would happen, or it would not even survive the night. Um, but who knows? You know, I mean, people lived in the wilderness Absolutely. for thousands of years. I mean, she so, would be. But they're yeah. in the freaking. They have no food. Yeah. It's frozen outside. Yeah. These are terrible conditions. Absolutely terrible for both the mom and the baby. Yeah. Yeah. So. The likelihood that they could keep a kid alive in there, I don't know. Um, do you think, my answer is immediately yes here. <laughs> I can't remember what this girl's name is, I'm sorry. But uh, Misty's new friend. She, she didn't stick around long enough for me to oh, remember gosh, her name. Oh gosh, yeah. Uh, they going to eat her? Uh, I think yes, if they find her body, if if Misty, you know, like leads them to it, or if they stumble upon it, I of think course they're gonna find her body. I think that's where well, they dump the poop. She's being covered with snow is the thing it too. Matter. But that's um, where they dump the poop. Yeah, they're gonna go to the place where you dump the poop because that's where she was last seen, and they're gonna find her. Yeah, of course. Um, I think it's pretty likely that they'll end up eating her. Yeah, she's probably gonna taste pretty shitty. Cause, in, Cause she fell on the cause poop. Cause she fell on poops. Cause she fell on the poop. <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah, she's getting eaten. Yeah. Um. Okay. So we get a couple. We get a couple quotes here. Um. From people saying weird shit. Mm. Um. Number one, we get she told me not to come back. Now this oh, is said yeah. by Javi, right? So she. Yeah. Told me not to come back. Hmm. Now, we're going to take this as... Go ahead and put him up on the couch. That's what he wants. Um, We're supposed to take this as some, like, you know, supernatural kind of thing. Like there's some witch out in the woods. I'm not sure that's what happened here. I am... I'm going to just speculate really quick. 
that it is one of the girls. Oh. One of the yellow jackets. Hmm. That was like, you know, there's something up here. Like Lottie or something, right? That would be like, crazy. don't come back here. Like, there's something wrong. Yeah. Right? Like, Lottie told him, like, you don't want to be here. Like, they're going to kill you. Maybe she saw a prophecy. Mm. Right? And she's like, I saw that people, somebody here is going to kill you. Don't come back. Hmm. Right? Yeah. Um, that's going to be my go-to guess. That was my first instinct is, like, she. And I was like, mm, is he just talking about one of the yellow jackets? And that's why he's, like, being, like, shut down. Because maybe she just said, like, someone here is going to harm you. Don't mm-hmm. come back. And so now he's, like, not wanting to talk to anybody. Yeah. Because he's, like, it could be any of you. And so he's very, you know, but he, yeah, I don't know. But they found him. Yes. So so they so they brought him back, but he was, you know, being out there. This is cabin fever. He probably fucking lost his mind. But where was he? Still, no idea. I do, I do still subscribe to this, like, underground thing. Yeah, and I that's definitely where he was. think that that's a yeah a place that he could have been hiding. But that's an interesting theory. Yeah, I could see it being one of the girls, like Lottie, telling him not to come back. Or, but I could also see it being like a witch lady. <laughs> yeah. So, I don't know. Um, I mean, like the end of this episode with Natalie, we do get to see like a figure, and who that figure is, I don't know. With the antlers. You mean Lottie? With Natalie. No, it's Lottie that turns her head and she sees Natalie her. sees it in her, like, when she's... In her shadow. No, Natalie sees that person, like, coming onto the plane when she's OD'd. And she's like, we died there and, like, there was something with us. And that figure, like, it's a person with the antlers oh. that's shrouded, like, walks onto the airplane. I was taking notes. Oh, yeah. I didn't yeah. see it. Yeah. I'm saying Lottie's shadow became yes, the person. Yes, it's that person. same person, but oh. she actually saw her. So that's why... Oh, I didn't see it. I, I was looking see it down. Being Shit. an actual person that's out there. One of the downsides of having to be the note taker. Yeah. Sometimes I'm looking down really quick to try to jot it down, and I look up and down, and sometimes I miss shit. I didn't see anyone on the plane. Oh, bam. I got to have to look back on that one. Mm-hmm. I didn't see it. Did it have some kind of, like, She was face just shrouded. Or... No, her face she... was... Well, I'm saying she, because it looked like she was wearing a dress, kind of. Like, mm. there was, like, robes, and it was white, and the face was obscured by, like, a white, like, cloth thing. Mm. Yeah. So, it looked pretty spooky. Uh, okay. I'm glad you mentioned that, because I did not see that at all. Yep. That's That's interesting. Um, and we do re-see this. Now, in that shot, it... I think they try to make it look like it's some like spirit shadow, mm. but it also like from the angle, mm-hmm. it also appears to be Lottie's own shadow that yeah. she's seeing like that. So I don't know which one it's supposed to be. Um, you know, I don't know. Is it the Queen of Hearts? Right? Is she the still the the leader, or is she not? But she cut her hand and said, "Isn't this? Can this be enough?" Or whatever. I don't know. Mm-hmm. I think that the shadow is meant to be like maybe she's being influenced by it still. Like that's why it looks like it's coming from her direction or where her shadow should be. I know that Nat overdoses and says like she saw something when she was dead. Yeah. Um, And this is, I'm assuming, what led to Travis's Mm -hmm. demise, right? He realizes in that moment that you have to be on the brink of death or dead. To be able to see this thing. And he wants to. So I think maybe Natalie's OD. Her overdose. Um, not that you guys don't know what overdose. Or OD means. Um, <laughs> but maybe someone didn't. Maybe. No I'm just kidding. Um, she may have put it in his mind. And maybe this mm-hmm. is part of her guilt. Like I gave him the idea. To oh, yeah. die. Absolutely. I think that that was part of where he got his uh idea from was from her experience oh and cute little thing maybe someone missed uh when they're listening to the radio in the car misty turns off staying alive yeah uh and then later we see the girl she's trying to revive she does the bump 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 
uh, staying alive on her chest. Yeah. So she turns it off because she's remembering that moment. Yes. Um, that's just like a quick little thing, but I thought it was worth mentioning. Mm-hmm. Uh, cute little detail. Um, but yeah, I mean, she straight up is like what <laughs> Natalie reminds me of in this scene when she dies and comes back. This is straight up Tristan from Book of Shadows, Blair Witch 2, mm. when she wakes up in the hospital after having lo- lost the baby and she's talking to Steven and she's like, you know, you know, we weren't supposed to be out there and, you know, we brought something back with us. Yeah. And then yeah. she like, they pull back the curtain and, and the kid, the kid's walking backwards. And, you know, oh yeah. I, super good. Just when she said... We, we brought it back with us. Yeah. Mm-hmm. I was like, oh, we're talking a little Blair Witch 2 <laughs> now. Because they're out in the woods and they yeah. brought something back with them. Yeah. I adore that film. Like, yes. I just, I it's can't wonderful. say enough great about it. I know it's a hated film, but if you're a fan of it, definitely check out the review I did on it years ago and watch somebody who actually understood the movie and loved it. <laughs> um, anyways. Um... Yeah, I mean, Shauna goes into labor at the end here mm-hmm. uh, to the Danzig song Mother, mm-hmm. um, which I thought was a cool little touch there. Um, and yeah, then we get the we get the the Thaisa, and not and then we get that is literally the last scene the 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 um, labor, but uh, before that we get the Thaisa and um van scene and w- is she the one that says we got s- we brought something back with us no she says, she that says we're not supposed, to, we're be not supposed to be here this is what we're supposed to be yeah we're not supposed to be here so i'm assuming right what was gonna happen here and this is pretty i don't know if it's obvious but what's gonna happen they're gonna have to return yes to the site where they crashed uh, or the cabin, I'm sorry, but the the you know they're they're gonna go back, yeah, right. This is gonna be lost, yes. right. Got to return to the island, right. This is a hundred percent what's gonna happen. <laughs> they're gonna they're all gonna have to go back, yeah. Um, maybe to return the she to the woods, but there's no the evil. They, I mean that yeah. I mean we were <laughs> just talking about that one on this watch, like the opening song for this uh, show, the main title theme song is no return yeah no you know it keeps just repeating it no return no return and it's almost either suggesting that they never came back or like lost right um or that you know there is no return from what you guys went through Mm -hmm. you guys can leave but you never really left Mm -hmm. right it's like freaking hotel california or 1408 or something yeah. it's like you can check out but you can never leave like there is no there is no return to your normal life yeah. like once you've eaten people there's yeah, no return there's no going back right? there's no coming back from it but i mean okay that's not fair because the alive people the the real story those guys you know did what they had to do to survive and then they came back to the world but there's no i don't think any one of them ever more than likely, I can't speak for them, but I, I'm assuming that you don't come back the same person. No, of right? course you're, not. You're yeah. going to be completely changed and that shit's going to haunt you for the rest of your life, basically, yeah, no matter what you do. Yeah. So, um, that's that. Yeah. Uh, Shauna is going to have her baby next episode. We do not watch the next week on kind of shit because no. that takes the fun out of talking about this and speculating with you guys. Um, but yeah, so Sean is going to have the baby. Will it live? Yes. Will there be some kind of fight because Lottie is whispering some weird shit to her stomach? Yes. And she gets up and Ty's defending her. Yeah. And Shauna is like so out. Yes. She's like, oh, hell no. Mm -hmm. Um, we forgot to mention that Jay, the detective figures out that there's fake semen in the condom. Mm -hmm. So he's still onto them. Um, Still on their trail. He says, like, she's good, but I'm better. Yeah. So he's going to continue to keep playing her yeah. uh, now that he knows and she thinks that he's done. 
Now, why she would continue to keep talking to him, I feel like at this point it's time to be like, you know what? You don't want to fuck me. I'm done. I don't want to see you anymore. Mm. And just call it quits. And that's a perfectly good reason. Like, hey, I'm horny. I'm a freaking teen. I want to get laid. You're not wanting to do it. I'm fucking somebody else now. She could just call it off like that. Bye. So I don't really see any reason to keep him around except for to try to pluck information from him that Mm -hmm. they're off her trail. Yeah, I think she's going to try and play him now. Yeah, and he knows. He's going to be on to her, yeah. So she she was good, but, you know, he unfortunately figured it out. Uh, But at the same time, I kind of want Shawnee to get caught because she's a terrible person. Um, It's true. But yeah, so she's going to give birth. There's going to be some kind of a disconnect once again. Um, like this, uh, this is, this is once again, this is, this is, we have Shauna on one end of the spectrum and you have Ty, uh, uh, Lottie on the other. They're mm-hmm. completely opposites right now. Shauna is done with Lottie's shit. She has completely rejected her and Lottie is going to form one crew and uh, Shauna and Natalie and whoever is going to be on the other side. And it's the division is going to be created not only between, you know, everybody because of like relationship stuff, but the mm. baby. The baby. I think the be baby the is going to be the I big think, thing to yeah. like draw them away from each other and, mm-hmm. and, and pit them against one another. Yes. Yeah, absolutely. I totally agree. I think that the baby is going to be like the catalyst for everything. I think the baby will eventually like be taken by the woods or something. And then Mm. we're just going to think it died or something. And then it's going to show up Mm -hmm. like as an adult. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Like I think we're going to be led to believe the baby is killed or taken or something. Mm -hmm. But like taken in a way where it seems like, oh, it's not going to survive. That was, you know, that was too much. But then it does. It's going to be like Ahsoka. She's gonna, she's yeah. gonna be taken by some animal into the into the freaking woods by herself, and then okay, I'm not gonna get into <laughs> tales of the Jedi. Um, anyways, all right, so that's that. That's that. Um, sorry, I almost died while recording this, uh, but I needed to eat, and I still need to go eat yeah. real food now. Um, but what do you guys think is going to happen? As always, uh, anything more to add, you gorgeous, perfect woman, you? No. No? Okay. All right, guys. Until next time, stay hungry. (laughs) Stay hungry. (laughs) Bye. Bye.